Carrollton, News Talk, 1330, FM 106.3. And we're live on Community Voice. I am your host, Josh Engel. <laughs> Colin's cracking us up over here. Uh, if you haven't already guessed, we are joined today by the great and powerful Kersha Cartwright. Good morning. The, uh, good morning to you. You've had a great morning. You've I already have. like crushed all of us. You've already like went off. It's and, a great day. Yeah. You've like washed your car and tilled your garden and <laughs> everything right. else. Uh, Kersha Cartwright is the project gift coordinator for Project Gift, which is Southwire's 501c3 nonprofit. Right. Did I say that right? Nonprofit arm for Southwire. That's correct. The nonprofit arm. That sounds way more professional. Um, it's Kirsch's favorite day of the week, Wednesday. It is. It's Wednesday. It's nice outside. Uh, tell it's the beautiful. listeners, why is Wednesday the best day of the week? There's just so much that you can get done. And I have choir practice on Wednesday night. Love it. Love Wednesday. Something to look forward to. That's right. Excellent. Well, uh, Kirsch is joining me today. Because we're going to talk about some of the upcoming events that uh, Southwire and Project Gift have in store for the West Georgia area, and pretty much anything else she wants to talk about. Because I I trust her and know that she can just you know entertain us. So uh, so what would you like to talk about first? Well, this is our busiest time of the year, like everybody else, right? But lots of really great things that we have going on. Of course, we've got the giving back season um, that is really important to Southwire. So we have lots of things coming up, our um, Thanksgiving food drives and those kind of things that we're doing internally. And then, of course, our Toys for Tots, which is our big event that we have December 9th and 10th this year. Monday and Tuesday, we're mixing it up a little bit. Oh, I got you. So what days were was it normally on? Thursday and Friday. Oh. We've always had it on a Thursday and Friday in the Walmart parking lot in Carrollton. And um, the Thanksgiving was a week later this year. So the Christmas parade, the holiday parade for Carrollton is on December 5th, which is normally when we would have done Toys for Tots. So we moved it. Because we are a big part of the parade, and we are super excited to be in that again this year. So we're going to do that on the 5th, and then we're going to have Toys for Tots on the 9th and 10th. Excellent, Monday excellent. Monday and Tuesday. Well, that sounds great. It sounds like a great uh, change-up. It is. I got you. All right, so um, so tell us more about the Thankful for a Giving Southwire. This is a new initiative for Southwire. Uh, we are really fortunate to work for a company that values giving back in the communities where we live and work. So it's important for us to give employees the opportunity to give back, and we're taking a day this year. It'll be the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, so it'll be November 26th, and we're doing an internal initiative in all of our locations, and we'll take a, an opportunity to give back in a lot of different ways. Here in the West Georgia area, we're going to have several different trash pickups that day. We're going to write letters letters to veterans, thanking them for their service, and a um, couple other different things that are going on internally, just a chance to give back for a minute and to say thank you for everything that, that we're blessed with. Excellent. Now, the, the trash pickups, that's something that you guys have done for a long time, no? Um, we do. We do it every month. This is a monthly initiative for us. Uh, and then on, uh, of course, for Thankful for Giving Southwire, we're going to do it all during the day. So we'll have several opportunities. It's a partnership with Keep Carol Beautiful. And uh, we track that and make sure that we're picking up our mile, our sponsored mile, which is right in front of the 12 for Life facility. And uh, we also pick up on the Green Belt. So we'll do those kind of things on the 26th. So do you well. guys have like an adopted trail on the on the green belt or do you guys just clean wherever? We just kind of divide and conquer. Love it. Love we, it. There's a there's an area of the green belt that's right beside the building ware plant. We normally cover that that piece of the green belt uh, when we're doing trash pickup monthly. Cool, cool. We actually have Jacqueline Dost, the uh, director Love in Turham from uh, KCB coming in Friday. Great. So uh, She's a terrific partner. We love working with Jacqueline and, and have on several different projects with Project Gift, mainly our in uh, electronics recycling that we do twice a year here in West Georgia. She is terrific. And we're actually taking that partnership and duplicating it in our other facilities with other um Keep Carol, uh, uh, keep America beautiful. Keep America beautiful affiliates. Affiliates, that's correct. We're we're doing one at the end of November in El Paso with uh, Keep El Paso Beautiful. So we're excited and and we're very thankful for Jacqueline giving us that opportunity and for us being able to take that and duplicate it in other places. Sure. I mean, I got to be honest. See, Keep Carol, Keep Carol Beautiful has a beautiful name. Keep 
El Paso beautiful, but like, what if it's keep Newark beautiful? You know, I don't know. I don't know if they get the same amount of support up there. I, I would do. imagine the people in Newark are super excited about that. They're right? probably ready to, to, yeah. to clean up. Um, well, that's awesome. I mean, clearly you guys are, are always uh, trying to expand the way that you serve the community, that you give back to the community. Right. Um, how are these plans, you know, concocted? Who comes up with these with these initiatives? Is that all you or do you have like a group that you work with? Sometimes, you know, there'll be some things that we're interested in or we've been involved in in the past and we'll take and expand that program. But uh, we also want to give our employees the opportunity to say, hey, what are you passionate about? We started this year um, a campaign called Pick a Project. And it's where you can go in and, and say you are super involved in the Humane Society. We, we do some partnership with Humane Society, but you know maybe it's some kind of project at your church, or maybe it's something with um, you know children that you're involved with, or, or whatever kind of nonprofit that you volunteer with. We'd like to take the opportunity to do something with that nonprofit as well, or, or allow you to do that to give back to that nonprofit and, and count that as some of your time with Southwire too. So it's it's not just the things that I come up with and say, hey, I, I deem this important. We want to look at the other things that employees think are important, too. And we uh, certainly um, take suggestions. The people that we give to, that we give with our charitable giving, we also turn around and say, hey, how can we volunteer with you? We don't just want to write you a check. We'd like to take an opportunity to volunteer with your organization and do those kind of things. So it's, um, it's, a, it's a group effort. Uh, I'll have employees that will email me and say, hey, can we look at doing something with this organization or this organization or I've got this going on with over here. So we, we, we kind of build it out and uh, it's gotten a lot bigger. So we're asking people to, hey, can you take the initiative on this project? Can you can you run this uh, project gift project? So it's, it's working. We're building, uh, which is great. So it just gives more people opportunities to give back, which is what we're after. That's the whole point of the program. So it kind of helps the employees uh, personally sort That's of right. take ownership. What are you ownership? passionate about? Stewardship. It may not be what I'm passionate about. So, uh, you know, we want to give everybody an opportunity to give back to the things that are important to them. Sure. No, of course. Um, what are you passionate about? Uh, children and the environment. So we're doing a lot of uh, a lot of things. We're going to be focusing a lot more on the environment in 2020. Uh, what can we do? We already do a lot of things with that. The Richards family certainly is very involved in the environment and giving back to environmental uh, initiatives. And we certainly believe in that uh, with the company and the way that we are moving um, as a company. So our sustainability goals will certainly um, reflect that and reflect the things that are important to the Richards family, of course. But as we move forward with Project Gift, we're going to be doing more on the environmental side. So we'll we'll be looking at... Um, at those initiatives more in 2020. So the environment, that's very important. I think it's it's something that's that uh, our new employees are very interested in. You know, as we hire folks, we they want to know what does the company believe in? What's important to us? How are we spending our time and our money uh, as a company? So I think that that's important for us to, to keep in mind as we do things in the future. I mean, and you know, I mean, just from the time that I was at Keep Carol Beautiful, I mean, we saw that uh, we reached that point of 1 million plus pounds that's of right. electronic waste that had been recycled um you know and southwire always made it a point back then and, and especially now to try to have as limited of a carbon footprint as possible that's correct which employees can get behind and everybody gets jazzed about and it genuinely has a huge positive impact on our community um which i you know i hope that inspires other corporations to maybe want to do something right. similar because Together, you know, I mean, with the resources that you guys put towards bettering the community, if everyone else got on board, it'd be amazing what could be accomplished, right? That's right. And that's, I, I think that's our goal. I mean, we certainly, as a, as a corporation, have responsibilities to the communities that where we live and, and what we're doing with those resources and how we're using those and utilizing those. And that's, that's something that everybody's working toward, our energy partners that we're working with. So you'll see a lot more come out of Southwire in the next several years i mean this is something that we've got an entire group that's working on um you know reducing our carbon footprint and and moving toward um uh, better corporation uh initiatives in that effort and what are we doing with waste how does what what happens with that 
Um, and you'll see a lot of things, a lot of new initiatives that are coming out. I'm very excited about that. I'm working with Environmental on those, and hopefully Project Gift will be able to partner with a lot of those initiatives as we uh, communicate those to the community in the future. So look for that coming. It's very exciting. So environment is, is big for me, big passion for me. See? And there's no better place to tease these upcoming uh, right. exciting projects that you have uh, going on more so than Community Voice. That's right. So I'm really glad that we're talking about it. Uh, when we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about our uh, the Toys for Tots program and some of the things that Southwire are cooking up right after a word from our sponsors. A well-rounded education includes much more than just academics. At Oak Mountain Academy, we encourage our students to find their niche in any of our 42 co-curricular opportunities. Over the past five years, we have brought home five state and 20 regional athletic titles. Our one-act play and literary teams continuously compete at the region and state level, and our academic teams bring home first place more than not. We are warriors creating legacies. To learn more, visit oakmountain.us. At Tanner, we're advancing health throughout West Georgia and East Alabama because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve, but how well we serve them. That's why we're focused on quality, delivering the best possible care for our patients. It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. And it's why we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient, every time, is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. And we're back to Community Voice. I'm your host, Josh Engel. If you're just now tuning in, I am joined by the great and powerful Kersha Cartwright, the Project Gift Coordinator. What have we been talking about? Well, what have we not been talking about? We've been talking about uh, Thankful for Giving Southwire, a brand new initiative that's going to be rolling right. out. Pretty soon, uh, no. Tuesday, November 26th. That's right, November 26th. That's when it's happening. So if you see a bunch of black shirts out and about, uh, you know, bettering your community, you'll know what's up. Uh, Kershaw, why don't we chat a little bit about Toys for Tots? It's one of the biggest We'd initiatives that you guys uh, that you guys do. Everyone's familiar with it. Uh, let's chat about it. Yeah, so this is our partnership with uh, Toys for Tots in Carroll County. And uh, they cover the West Georgia area and I think uh, parts of East Alabama as well. And we, our goal this year is to collect over 5,000 toys. So we did it last year. We can do it again this year. Uh, we collect those toys throughout November and the beginning of December. We will come together and do our big toy drive in the Walmart parking lot in Carrollton on Monday and Tuesday, December 9th and 10th this year. Uh, we'll take that opportunity to take those two days and set up in the parking lot where it's usually really cold. One year it snowed. And we'll collect those toys from people that just want to drive through, drop them off. We'll take them and put them in our trucks, and we'll take them over to Toys for Tots and deliver them there so that they can be, be dispersed in Carroll County. So we're super excited about this project. Right now, we're in sponsorship mode. So we sponsor, we partner with other uh, organizations and companies throughout Carroll County, and um, they will give us a little sponsorship money, and we will work wonders with that. We will buy toys and... Uh, uh, put this together and um, make it part of our toy drive. So we're super excited about that. We've already gotten a couple of sponsors already. Ooh, yeah. excellent. West excellent. Georgia Technical College sent me an email yesterday, University of West Georgia. So we're excited though to uh, partner with those folks again, but we're always looking for more partners. If you want to take your money and, may, and help it go a really long way, we, we can do that. We've been doing this for 15 years. This is the 15th Toys for Tots. Wow collection drive so we're excited about that as well and uh, we do ours a little differently so we'll set up on the 9th and 10th in um, the parking lot at, Car at uh, the Carrollton Walmart and let me just throw out that um, it's a perfect location one yeah. everyone's familiar with it that's right there's no plenty of room and there's no excuse to not have a toy because you're that's literally right. you in the Walmart parking go lot go in and get one just buy them out or you can drop off a donation and we'll go in and get some toys boom bring them back out Yep, we will make it work for you. Yes. 
Um, we do a little something special on Monday from five until seven. We have uh, cookies, cocoa, and carolers. So it's a little event that we do. We have a stage set up, and we will have we will have kids choirs come and sing from five until seven. We've got some uh, high school choruses that are come come going to come and sing. They did this last year. It was fantastic. It's a great way to put you in the spirit. Everybody loves to see kids sing. And let's so, be honest, uh, Halloween, Halloween's over. Now everyone's over. in the Christmas mode. So That's right. uh, you could, we'll be could. thankful on Thanksgiving Day, but really. Yeah. Really, we're in the Christmas spirit. And more so this year than I've seen in a long time. Have you not noticed there's been a lot more Christmas spirit out yeah, there? Yeah. People decorating already? Yeah. I think that, I th- I'm pretty sure that progressively each year it gets a little bit earlier. Right. Um, my Have you s- been to Hobby Lobby? Oh, it's, I mean, o- it's over with. You go in there, it's like. July. Like I got like red glitter all over me That's and right. tinsel. It's crazy. My uh, sister in law just. It, on uh, November 1st, text, uh, you know, the family group chat. There's always right. a family group chat, a picture of their perfectly decorated Christmas Look tree. And I was like, wow, um, this year, man, it, maybe it's the cold air. I don't know. People are in. So you guys are, are, are you know, really uh, jumping on that. We are. And you're going to have a full day full of carolers and, uh, and choirs and choruses from throughout, uh, throughout the county. We love it. So we're going to have co- cookies and cocoa from five until seven when we'll have those carolers out there. But we play Christmas music the whole time. We're uh, putting toys in the trucks. And it's fantastic. If you want to volunteer with us, uh, that would be great. We would love to have some volunteers out there. Um, you can always, if you have any questions about Project Gift, email me at project.gift at southwire.com, and I will respond to you very quickly. That's a good way to get in touch with me, an easy way to remember that, project.gift at southwire.com. You can get in touch with me that way. But we'd love to have your volunteers. We'd love to have your sponsorship. So we, the same terrific. email. So same if, email. Absolutely. So email if me. I, the CFO of... Ingle Industries wanted to donate money to this amazing cause, I could also hit you up at project.gift at southwire.com. You could. Or you can decide that you want to have your own toy drive within your company, and you, you could be part of our one gift challenge. So what we do is we say, we challenge folks, one gift can make a difference. If you can bring us one gift, that will make a tremendous difference difference with us. So we encourage companies to be part of our one gift challenge. If you want to do that, email me at project.gift at southward.com and I will bring you a sign that says, we are a one gift challenge company and we can you can put it outside of your of your company and you can be part of the one gift challenge we'll bring you a box and you can collect your toys and then you can bring them to us on the 9th and 10th monday or tuesday of the toy drive so is it so named uh, the one gift challenge like everyone that is uh, it works at the company uh, customers brings are, one gift everyone brings one gift you can bring more if you like but just one gift just one gift makes a difference. If you're an overachiever like Kersha, you can bring multiple <laughs> you gifts. You can bring multiple gifts. But if you bring one, think about it. If everyone brings one gift, that's, right. that's, that's Look a at lot that. of gifts. It's a lot of gifts. And it makes a huge difference to uh, a child in Carroll County who may not get a lot. You know, you're making a difference uh, in your community, and that's what we're after. So it, bring one gift. Sure. The one gift challenge. So we're, we're excited about that. We've launched that last year, and it worked really well. So you can be a sponsor, you can be a volunteer with us, or you can be part of the One Gift Challenge. So there's lots of different ways. No excuse. With us. No excuse. As to not participate. That's right. Plus, it's the season, man. Come on, like, get in the spirit. It this is. is a, this is a fun way to to plug into that Christmas spirit and make this. And happen. it's a great way to teach your kids about giving back to others who may not be as fortunate as they are. That's uh, you know, I have to drag my kids kicking and screaming sometimes, but it's good for them to see that. It's good for them to be involved in that. So if you want your kids to be involved in that, bring them out. We'll we'll put them to work over there. We'll let them see some giving back that's taking place. So, um, to, so do that. Do that somewhere this season. If it's not with us, do it somewhere else. Sure. And uh, again, if you want to donate, if you want to um, participate, participate, yeah, and participate in the One Give Challenge. If you want right. to do any of these things, you can hit up Kersha at project.gift at southwire.com. Uh, easy enough, but I'll say it one more time. Project.gift at southwire.com. Uh, we will uh, recap some of these uh, some of these campaigns and uh, talk a bit more right Thank after you. a word from our sponsors. At Tanner, we're advancing health throughout West Georgia and East Alabama because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve, but how well we serve them. That's why we're focused on quality, delivering the best possible care for our patients 
It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. And it's why we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient, every time, is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. At Oak Mountain Academy, our daily schedule includes convocation, prayer, and the Pledge of Allegiance. By doing so, we build a family-like community where all students grow and flourish and personal faith is encouraged. Through community service and a historical approach to biblical study, our students are taught the value of the warrior way, honesty, respect, and responsibility. Oak Mountain Academy, we are a family creating legacies. To learn more, visit oakmountain.us. And we're back to Community Voice. It's your host, Josh Engel. It's Wednesday, a wonderful Wednesday. It's a we're wonderful about, Wednesday. Wonderful Wednesday. A wild and wonderful Wednesday. We're talking about alliteration. I mean, earlier we were talking about cocoa, carolers. And cookies. And cookies. These are a few of my favorite <laughs> they are. things. Especially uh, cookies. So um, if you're just tuning in, we've been talking about some of the holiday campaigns that Project Gift, Southwire's own 501c3 nonprofit arm. That's correct. Um, sounds professional. Uh, some of the projects they have coming up. Um, why don't we just do a quick recap? So if someone's just now tuning in, they'll kind of know what we're, uh, what, we're, what we're talking about here. So a uh, thankful for giving Southwire. It's November 26th. It is. It's an internal campaign that we have at Southwire. It just gives us an opportunity to give back a little to our community. And, and we are just taking a little time internally to say we are thankful that our company allows us to give back on a regular basis so we're going to be picking up some trash that day we're going to be letter writing to veterans telling them thank you so much for your service and several other different things uh, within the company but it's it's an internal campaign that we're doing but we're super excited to be with a company that this is important sure of course yeah. and uh you know environmental partnerships with keep carol beautiful um, Very important. Uh, environmental partnerships are going to become more and more important as we move along, as we look at our sustainability goals and how we can support those with our time and talents and money and, and what are we doing to better the environment and taking care of our uh, carbon footprint and reducing that. So you'll see a lot of new things coming out in 2020 about that. So we're super excited about that. But the main thing that we're focused on right now is Toys for Tots. So we'll be doing that on Monday and Tuesday, December 9th and 10th in the parking lot at the Carrollton Walmart. So you can participate in lots of different ways. You can be a sponsor with us. You can be a One Gift Challenge partner, or you can come and volunteer at the event. So we would love to have your support. You can contact me at project.gift at southwire.com, and we can chat about the different ways that you can be involved. Sure. Now, the uh, if you wanted to sponsor, um, I know that there are levels, uh, are. as with any, well put together uh correct and we put you on all of our marketing materials so we're nearing that time that we need to start printing banners and putting ads and papers and those kind of things and talking about it on the radio so we're nearing that time that we need to say hey we need to know if you're going to be a sponsor with us so reach out to us we'd love to to uh, include you in all of our marketing materials so we need to do that quickly and we'll also be reaching out to some of those folks who have participated in the past so you'll be hearing from me very soon so excellent. get ready for that excellent excellent and i don't think anyone will mind that when that that call is coming in so um you can sponsor you can volunteer yes um i mean because you were trying to uh, we're trying to match last year's five thousand toys five thousand toys it's a lofty goal but we can do it how many tractor trailers full is that it's two we fill up two tractor trailers Wow. We do. Yeah. We can do it. It's I have lot. no doubt that you can. So uh, to pull that off, you're going to need volunteers. Uh, yeah. How many volunteers do you typically have each year? We normally have a, a good bit of Southwire employees that come out and help. But, you know, we can always use volunteers from the community. If you've got an organization that's looking to have some volunteer time, if you need some charitable time that you need to log, come see us. We'll, we'll put those school organizations to work. Um, and you can do that with Project Gift. We'd be glad to, to have your participation. So the FFAs, the sure. FBLAs, that's right. The um, 
uh, four H's, the four H's, whatever you got. Or if you've got, you know, your rotary clubs or um, any kind of service organization, if you want to come and give some time with us, we would love to have your support for sure. We have an exorbitant amount of civic clubs in this area. We do. It's It's amazing. It's nice. And they, and they like to give. So this is a great opportunity to do that. So now could those civic clubs also be a part of the yes. One Gift Challenge? We would love that. We would love to have any civic organization sign up to be part of the One Gift Challenge and encourage your members to bring one gift to lunch one day. Have them bring one gift and you can be a One Gift Challenge partner with Southwire. And we would love to promote that for you. Sure. Now, uh, just in case someone missed it earlier, kind of tell us a bit more about that One Gift Challenge. So everyone knows. We're uh, encouraging folks to just bring one gift. If you, if you can bring more, that's great. But just bring one gift. That one gift can make a difference. So we've made that a one gift challenge. We started it last year. We have materials that you can put out in front of your company that say, hey, we're part of the one gift challenge. Just bring one gift. We'll bring you a box. You collect those and then we'll uh, bring those together during the toy collection on the 9th and 10th. Excellent. Excellent. Right on. Uh, So do you have any events leading up into the new year uh, once we get there uh, that you're looking forward to that you're excited about? I I love the parade. You know, we build a float. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to, you know, throw back to high school. You know, we used to build those floats, but this will be covered in lights and uh, it'll be great. I love the the holiday parade. Do you have a specific float from high school that you were particularly fond of? I remember once that uh, our school did a um, a Gotham City theme one and oh, I was Batman. Nice. And uh, it was hilarious because uh, I had my glasses on over the Batman mask. So it was great. Um, <laughs> we built a great big Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket one year, of course, with all the uh, chicken wire and pomps that you put in there. That's <laughs> you're Colonel Sanders. <laughs> no, I was always the class president, though. We had to put it together. You know, I was telling everybody what to do. It was great yeah. fun. So you carry this over into Southwire. You guys yes. always go all out at the parades. We do, yes. And last year, we had this great big float that was a, it was a big gift, and it was lit, and it was fantastic and beautiful and the lights went out right as we were pulling into the square so that is my goal this year not to have the lights go out right before we go through the judging so yeah maybe we'll have a generator on board the flight we did (laughs) We (laughs) we had a generator we need a backup i'll work on that yeah for sure it's my goal for sure so uh if you're listening here just remember there are plenty of ways to participate in uh, the giving back, the project gift. Give back with us. Give back. I mean, you can give your time. You can give gifts. You can give money. You can give pretty much anything. Remember, this is a nonprofit, and, they, and they're and they focused on um, bettering the community. And, and I think one of my favorite parts of our conversation today is that you encourage the employees to sort of take ownership of, uh, of something they're passionate about. That's right. So it's not limited to this. I mean, How do you want to give back to your, uh, to your community? There's lots of different ways that we can do that. And I think that's what Southwire wants us to do. We, we just need to give back, however we deem that important. So what are you passionate about? That's what we encourage. Uh, you take the projects that, that are important to you and, and give back. Give you back your time, your talents, and, and your money at times. Sure, so. yeah. Especially if you're a business. It's a great way to, to be uh, included on a lot of marketing materials throughout the town. That's um, right. Toys for Toss is a great way to do that. We, we're we going to market you all over the place. So if you would like to take a, a, a few dollars and put toward this effort, we will make it worth your while for sure. Excellent, excellent. So uh, one more time, if people want to get in touch with you, how do they do it? Project.gift at Southwire.com. Send me an email. I'll call you up. We'll talk about it. We'll be creative with a partnership, however you want to do that. Uh, we just like to partner with you. Are you guys on social media? We are. A Southwire community. Watch Southwire community. Uh, and we post lots of things about Toys for Tots and the upcoming initiatives that we have. We also post things that our other locations are doing. So uh, the things that are going on in El Paso and Bremen, Indiana and uh, Florence, Alabama, those kind of places, you can see those, the things that are, are being done elsewhere. So watch Southwire community and, and like us, like our page, and um, be part of that with us. So this isn't just the local community. It is community. It is communities across the country. It's a company initiative. That's right. Excellent. Awesome. Well, uh, Kersha, thank you so much for coming on thank today. Thank you I for having me today. I appreciate the conversation, and thank you for all the, the great things that you guys do. No, thanks a lot for, for being a great partner with us. We appreciate it. Well, thank you, and thank you for listening. We'll see you next time.